Have you ever taken a photo and the colors in that photo are crazy looking, like maybe really yellow or really blue? Well, that all has to do with white balance. So basically what's happening is different light sources emit different colors. And so if you have a variety of light sources in your photo, your camera gets confused and doesn't know which one to focus on. This type of problem is usually most common when you're shooting indoors. Uh, sometimes you'll have a tungsten lamp over here and fluorescent lighting above and then maybe a window on this side. And so what's happening is each light source is emitting a different color and your camera gets confused because it's trying to balance those and it doesn't know which one to choose. So the best way to eliminate white balance issues is to choose one light source and use that as your main light. So if I, wanted, if I was shooting indoors, what I would probably do is switch off both the tungsten lamp and the overhead fluorescent lightings and use that window as my main light source. Once we've narrowed down our light sources to one main light source, we can then adjust the white balance to match that light source and the colors will be spot on. You'll probably notice from the icons for white balance that most of them are pretty self-explanatory, but we just want to go through each one just to make sure that it makes sense. So first we have AWB, which is for auto white balance. So in this mode, the camera sets it for you. Next we have a sun, which is for daylight. So if you're going to be shooting on a bright sunny day outside, this is a great option. Next we have a cloud for cloudy. So if you're shooting outdoors on an overcast day, you should try using the cloudy white balance setting. Next we have shade. So this is a house with shade coming off the side of it. So if you're going to be shooting in the shade, then you should try this white balance option. Next we have tungsten, that's a tungsten light bulb, so this is what you usually see indoors in lamps um, and that sort of thing. And so if that is going to be your main light source, then you should set it to tungsten. The next icon is for fluorescent lighting, which is that lighting that you usually see in schools and hospitals. So if that is your only light source, then you should put it on fluorescent white balance. Next is flash, so if the flash is your only light source, then you should use that white balance setting. The next one is custom. There's a variety of ways to do custom white balancing that we will eventually show you guys, but for now you can pretty much ignore it. And the final one is K for Kelvin, so you can actually dial in a particular temperature for your white balance setting. 